So the following problem uh, is a pretty common problem, and this is a generalizes, generalization of it, but how many factors of 2 are there in n factorial? Um, and so we need to figure out the way this problem could be written. And we, we could do this problem in a lot of different ways. A lot of times n is some big number like 50 or 100 or 200. Um, but let's just go ahead and look at a small, in a small um, setting and see if we can kind of derive or understand um, what's going on. So let's just consider n equals 10. Um, and so we're going to start this problem saying how many are there in 10 factorial? So we, we know that 10 factorial is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So we want to find out how many 2's, which would be saying 2 to what power divides this. And you first have to understand, what does it mean to divide 10 factorial? Well, when you're talking about a number, um, if something divides that number, then it is um, also divides one of the factors of that number. So in 10 factorial, 10 is a factor of 10 factorial. That means 2 and 5 are factors of 10 factorial, because 2 and 5 are factors of 10. Now, obviously, with 7, because it's prime, that's the only thing that's a factor of 10. We can't get any extra ones. So the question really is, how many 2's make up 10 factorial? Well, if we think about this, we have 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 even numbers. So essentially, if you look at the factors, if we consider how many are divisible by 2 to the first, there are 5 of them. Then we think, okay, that's great, so that takes care of this one, that takes care of this one, and that takes care of this one. However, it doesn't take care of all the ones in 4, because 4 is actually 2 squared. So the question is, how many have 4s in them? Well, in 2 squared, there are 2 of them, right? 4 goes into 8, 4 goes into 4, and so that gives us 2 more 2s. All right, we got an extra 2 for the 4, and we have an extra 2 for the 8, because 4 goes into it. So that takes care of our 4. And then on the 8, well, 8 is actually 2 to the 3rd. So 2 to the 3rd goes into that. So that gives us another 2, because there are 3 in the 8. We counted one of the 8s right here. We counted one of the 8s right here, and then we're going to count the third one in the 8 right here. And so the answer is 8. There are 8 2s um, that go into this. And so that, in this case, x would be 8. Um, a shortcut for it, then, is how many times does 2 to the first go into 10? How many times does 2 to the second go into 10? And how many times does 2 to the third go into 10? Well, 2 to the first goes into 10 five times. 2 to the second goes into 10 two times. 2 to the third, 8, goes into 10 one time. Add those uh, products up, and that's your answer. So let's do an example of this. Um, another example of how to do it. Let's consider when n equals, I don't know, let's say 40. So we want to find out how many 2's go into 40 factorial. Well, what we do is we do what we just, that, that shortcut at the end. We find out how many 2 to the first go into 40. Well, you do, so let's just do it over here. 2 to the first goes into 40. 20 times. So the number of 2 to the first that we would have, if we listed them out, would be 20. Then we consider how many 2 to the seconds are there in 40. Well, 2 to the second is 4. 4 goes into 40 10 times. So there are 10 2 squares. So, so far, we've already counted up 32s. We counted up 20 from the 20 even numbers. Obvious, those are the easy ones. And then we counted up 10 more because there are 10 numbers that have a, 10 of those factors. For instance, 40 and 36 and 32 have a 4 in it. And so that's a third, another 2. Now we see how many have 8s in them. So how many times does 2 to the 3rd go into 40? Well, 2 to the 3rd into 40 is 8. is 5, I mean. And so... There are five eights that are made up in this, so that, that gives you five. Then we've got to consider two to the fourth. We keep going until we get zero as one of these. Well, two to the fourth is 16, so how many times does 16 go into 40? Well, it goes into it two times. There's a remainder over here, but we don't, we don't really worry about the remainder. We just worry about how many times does it actually 
go in there, and it goes into it twice, and so 2, because there are two 16s, right, 16 and 32, and then the last one is 2 to the 5th, and so 2 to the 5th is uh, 32, so how many times does 32 go into 40? Well, 32 goes into 41 times. So the answer is the sum of all those, which turns out to be 38. So there are 38 twos that are in that uh, divide into 48 factorial. You can divide 40 factorial by 2 38 times and still get an integer answer, is what's that saying. Okay, and then it generalizes even further. We can we can do this with threes. Correct? We, we can go with threes and we can say how many three uh, threes are in. Let's just do 40 factorial again. So you do the same thing. You find out how many 3 to the first are there. Well, we do 3 to the first into 40. Well, it goes into it 1, 13 times. There's a little remainder, but we don't care about the remainder. So there are 13 3 to the first. How many 3 to the seconds? Well, there are 3 to the second is 9. How many 9s go into 40? Well, 9 goes into 40 four times. There's a remainder 4, but again, we don't care about the remainder because we want to find out how many actual 9s, right? There are 9, 18, 27, 36. So there are 4 of those. So there are 13 that have 1, at least 1. There are th 4 that have at least 2. How many have 3 3s? Well, 3 to the 3rd, that's 27. Well, how many times does 27 go into 40? Well, 27 goes into 40 one time. And so there are one of those. And then 3 to the 4th is 81, which is way too big. And 81 obviously doesn't go into 40, so you're done. So the number of 3s in 40 factorial is 18. And so there are 18 3s in 40 factorial. And that's your answer. Uh, we'll do another video, and that video will think about non-prime numbers, because this only works for prime numbers. Works for any prime number can be done this way. Non-prime numbers, you have to realize that um, you got to break that down into whatever the um, whatever the prime factors of that are, and then you just use the bigger one. So we'll do another video with, with some more examples of how to do uh, these number of factors in something factorial.